Welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about food technology, especially MCQs in pasteurization and important facts. If you know the answer of uh, MCQ question, uh, please comment in the comment box. The first question, the first pressure steam sterilizer was discovered by Charles Chamberlain. Charles Chamberlain discovered the first pressure steam sterilizer. Second question, who is the father of food technology? Who is the father of food technology? If you know the answer, please comment in the comment box. Nicholas Eppert. Nicholas Eppert. What is the peculiarity of Nicholas Eppert? He is the father of canning. He is the father of canning and also the father of food technology and he developed the first canning process in the early 1800s. And who is the father of food technology? Nicholas Eppert. Who is the father of canning? Nicholas Eppert. So third one, what is the bird size process? Bird size process. What is bird size process? Bird size process is the rapid freezing of packed food between two refrigerator metal plates. So, two refrigerator metal plates are there so it is a method of freezing packaged food between two refrigerated metal plates and the birds ice freezing process was a highly efficient one and that is preserved the original taste of a variety of foods including fish fruits and vegetables so it helps to preserve the original taste and aroma of the foods fish fruits and vegetables Fourth process, the dash is also known as cold pasteurization as it destroys the foodborne disease caused by pathogenic microorganisms and parasites. Unlike pasteurization, this method does not use any heat in the process, instead uses the high energy raised to kill the microbes. So, which is the process? If you know the answer, please comment in the comment box. Uh, the answer is irradiation. Irradiation is the also known as cold pasteurization. So cold pasteurization is also known as irradiation. Irradiation is the process. It helps to destroy the foodborne disease caused by pathogenic microorganisms and parasites. Fifth question. Pasteurization processes are fully effective in destroying Campylobacter. Other bacteria like thermos, bacillus and thermo plasma are thermophiles which can grow at high temperature and cannot be destroyed by pasteurization process. This statement is true or false. So in order to get a complete idea of the picture of about this pasteurization that's why I have included this question for you. Pasteurization is the process are fully effective in destroying Campylobacter only not other bacteria like thermos bacillus thermo uh, plasma and other uh, thermo uh, <coughs> uh, like sorry uh, like thermos uh, bacillus and thermophiles pasteurization process are fully effective in destroying Campylobacter. other bacteria like thermos bacillus and thermo plasma are thermophiles which can grow at high temperature and cannot be destroyed by pasteurization process so only Campylobacter can we can destroy other bacillus thermos and uh, other types of bacteria we cannot destroy but some other bacteria uh, including q fever we can destroy that kind of bacteria six one diseases prevented by pasteurization include so in this question i have included uh, the diseases which can uh, the microorganisms of pathogens which we can destroy using pasteurization tuberculosis brucellosis diphtheria scarlet fever and q fever it also kills the harmful bacteria of Salmonella, Listeria, Yersinia, Campylobacter, Staphylococcus aureus and E. coli O157 H7. These are the diseases or pathogenic microorganisms to prevent, uh, we can prevent using pasteurization techniques. Seventh question, whether pasteurization kills the spores of bacteria? It is uh, whether, uh, what about uh, the answer? Whether pasteurization kills the spores of bacteria? No, we cannot 
kills the spores of bacteria using pasteurization. We need moist heat uh, sterilization to kill particular spores in order to penetrate through that particular spores. We need moist heat. Eighth one, wet pasteurization is also known as we know that different different types of pasteurizations are there. Here wet pasteurization. I have already included a video a few years back in my channel. Here wet pasteurization is also known as holding method or wet pasteurization. And wet pasteurization is also known as holding method or wet pasteurization. And here every particle of milk or cream is heated in equipment at 145 degree. Uh, sorry 145 degree Fahrenheit or 63 degree Celsius and hold for 30 minutes and agitation is needed to achieve the appropriate consistency and texture and uniform heating or else it causes churning so wet pasteurization is also known as holding method or batch pasteurization ninth question one pasteurization unit of beer is the microorganism that that occurs in a product held at dash for one minute dash means 60 degrees celsius for one minute dash is a, uh, that is one pasteurization unit what is one pasteurization unit one pasteurization unit of beer is the microorganism that that occurs in a product held at 60 degrees celsius for one minute next tenth question pasteurization temperature and time of egg Hmm? Uh, pasteurization time and temperature of egg 140 degree Fahrenheit for 3 minutes eggs are pasteurized to destroy salmonella and the right at 140 degree Fahrenheit and for 3 minutes 11th question a pasteurization process usually operates to dash log reductions of the target organism how much amount of amount of reduction is expected in the case of pasteurization process it usually operates in lowering or reduction of to a particular log of the target organism how much amount of reduction log reduction six log reductions of the target organisms the sterilized foods have to achieve at least dash log reductions in case of clostridium botulinum spores so sterilized foods have to achieve at least 12 log reduction how much amount or how many times log reduction is needed in the case of clostridium botulinum in order uh, to pass the particular test or uh, according to government uh, agencies uh, we need to reduce the amount of clostridium botulinum to 12 log reduction so the sterilized foods have to achieve at least 12 log reductions in case of prostridium botulinum spores. 13th question, powdered infant formula, powdered milk, herbal teas and starches are usually contaminated with. This uh, you are no, you might not be very much familiar with this particular microorganisms. In order to show the particular pathogenicity and the importance of these microorganisms, I have introduced this particular question, powdered infant formula, powdered milk, Herbal teas and starters are usually contaminated with Chronobacter sagazaki. Hmm? Chronobacter sagazaki. Dash bacteria is known as yellow pigmented E. clococcae in honor of Japanese bacteriologist Richie Sakazaki. The answer is Enterobacter sagazaki. New name is Chronobacter sagazaki. Fifteenth question, the last question, name of the highly pathogenic avian influenza virus outbreak in USA in March 2024. HPAI H5N1. Thank you. All the best for your exam.